Hi everybody, it's Doe Cookie. I'm back today and yeah, Chantal was on quite the tear today, wasn't she? Um, I've made about two pages of notes because I couldn't actually just fit everything in. I couldn't keep it all in check because she's just really tripping over herself to look like a dumbass. So, um, we've got some interesting maths. Um, so, she claimed today that the average woman goes back to her abuser um, an average of eight times. And she laughably said she's gone back maybe three times. I did the maths. This whole scenario has been going on for about 15 months. We know they would fight and break up, fight and break up, probably once or twice a week. That was it. Usually before the weekend, he'd want to hook up, want some coke. So they'd go back to each other on the weekends. So we'd say we averaged out two times a week. Turns out it's about 120 times. If you do the maths rounding up and down, twice a week, 60 weeks, that's how much. So for her to sit there and try and make out like it was, I was manipulated, I was under his spell, I went back maybe once or twice. No, we've been watching, we know, and this is why we are so frustrated. You were being yelled at, you were being told, you were being um, warned, you were being forewarned. Three months into this, you had had that conversation with FFG, you had had your best friend and you dumped your best friend who had been trying to protect you from the exact scenario you are in right now. No one to blame, but you're consistently going back because there was no one supporting this. There was no one saying, you guys can work it out. Everyone was saying no. The only person saying yes was Chantal. And it doesn't take a genius to know that a man putting their hands on you is abuse. There's no way around it. If you felt violated, that's abuse. If he's screaming in your face for six hours, that's abuse. You would have recognized it for what it was at that point because you'd come and told us what it was at that point. You'd already been explaining to us that he was abusive. You'd, you'd doubled down multiple times on what a bad, dangerous guy he is. We had had paper clips well before you laid the charges. So your claims about being naive and the claims about not understanding and not seeing him for who he was are void. You knew what you were getting and you wanted to keep going back. Did you want the abuse? No, nobody wants the abuse. Nobody wants to be hurt. Nobody wants to be victimized. Nobody wants to be traumatized. But every time you got in your car and you drove to see him, you knew what you were going to be getting or you could potentially be getting. He'd made no motions to change. He'd made no movement to change. His, his behavior was consistently bad and you knew it. This is why people are frustrated with you. You, they were trying to protect you and you didn't want it. You rejected it. You actively rejected it. That's why you lose supporters and that's why the reaction channels get fed up. You don't listen. So that was point one. Um, the reaction channels. Yes, people talk about you. Yes, they try and make it interesting. Yes, they bring up receipts. Yes, they talk about facts. And why? For views. That's what YouTube is about. Why do you make the content you make? So people watch. Why did you do your time warps? So people would watch. The reaction channels react. They take the information you say from your mouth, the activities that you do, and they respond with their mind, with their own opinions. They don't fluff it out. They don't fill it out. They suppose... They assume from facts. They never say this is true 100%, I can prove it, unless they can. These are all ideas that people are bouncing off each other. You may not like them, you may not agree with them, and some of them may be ridiculous, but they are what they are. They are just ideas, they are just thoughts, they are just opinions. And as you keep saying, and as you keep always going on about, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, 
freedom of behavior. You want it, you must allow everybody else to have it as well. You can't chop and change to suit. And that's just life, grow up. Um, people who watch it have no life. So is it only the reaction channel audiences that have no life? Or is it your audiences has no life? Or is it all of us? Everybody's um, bored, ugly, old housewives. Um, and you're the only interesting person in the entire world. Is, is that what we're getting at? Everybody else is not working, raising families, cooking, cleaning, taking holidays, working on hobbies, working on personal projects, developing businesses, learning, educating themselves. N none of us are doing any of that. While you're on in the background, I mop my floors. While you're in the background, I'm making meals for my, for my family for an entire week. Or I'm learning a new language. You are what I do when I'm doing something else. I know for some people multitasking is really hard. But for most of us adults, or not even adults, tea people in university, teenagers, um, even small children can multitask. They can do more things than what at once. But not Chantal, she can sit on a button, maybe stream or lay in her bed and stream. Can't do anything else. But not everybody lives like filth. Sorry, but it's true. Um, Nader was making his own channel anyway. Um, the man can't make a thumbnail. The man can't edit. The man can't read the chat without assistance. How was he going to be making a channel if you weren't helping him? I can imagine, this is, this is how the conversation went. Oh, I want to make a channel, I want to cook. Chantal's like, oh baby, I can help you with that. I know how to edit, let me do it for you. We could do a channel, we could do stuff. It'd be cute if we could do it together. You come on my channel, I'll come on yours. It'll be great and you'll get to earn some money for yourself. What do you think? And he's like, excellent. She would have thrown herself as his little helper, uh, manager, um, assistant. She would have done anything because it would have been another hook, another lure, another, another way that he would need her. I didn't give him his channel. He was going to do it anyway. It would have been a long time coming and this all would have been over. Because he would, you, you would not have been able to put up with it. Now that he's got his own money, he's running back and forth. And now he's also gone to Dee Dee. That's also opened him up to Dee Dee. So good one, Chantel. Giving him that channel gave him Dee Dee. Oh, isn't that ironic? Hmm. Oh. The shaming. We all hate the word shaming by now. Nobody wants to hear it ever again. Shaming. Okay. Nobody's shaming you for having bad experiences. Nobody's shaming. We've all had bad experiences different from each other. We all handle them differently. All are valid. But Chantal, you're not actually going through them. You're standing still. You're just spinning in circles, just yelling at everybody, yelling at everything that triggers you. You're not moving through it. Moving through it and going through it would be starting at one point and you're either going forwards or you're retracting to go back into it. You're just sitting still. You're just sitting on that little kitchen chair, spinning in circles, yelling into a void. You're not making any progress. You're not making any movement. You're not going through it. You're stuck in the middle of it. It's not the same thing. We are expressing our frustration. We are expressing our life experiences to you. We're trying to teach you and show you and help you with free advice. And you refuse anybody's input. Because anything but other than you're great, you're doing well, you're doing it perfectly, you don't want to hear it. And that's your downfall. You don't take anything in and funnel it through your brain and spit it back out. You can either keep it or toss it in the bin. Everything just gets shunted away. You don't even care. You don't even want to know. You just want to think everything's perfectly fine and everything that you do and say is right. And it's absolutely not. 100% not. Page two. I was doing my budget today as well. That's why I've got the notepad out because I'm a planner. I love to plan things. 
Oh, page two. Okay, so square one. What is square one, guys? Well, square one is the starting point, like on a game board, square one. And then you move throughout the game of life. This goes back to standing still. She hasn't made any progress. She hasn't seen a therapist. She hasn't spoken to a friend or family. She hasn't done anything to move forward or make progress. Smoking dope and eating yourself into oblivion is not progress. You need therapy, Chantal. You need a sounding board. You need someone professional to recognize your behaviors, your addictions. Why you do things, why you say things, perhaps even why you feel things or why you react so poorly to things. They're not going to sit there and tell you you're bad. They're going to sit there and go, this is why this might happen. How do we route your mind to work in a different way? Or how do we resolve that feeling so it doesn't creep up at the inappropriate times? A professional will help you be able to filter and sort through those feelings so they're not so painful. They may not even occur with the right assistance and help. She's hurting, her, she's hurting herself in ways that she doesn't even understand. And anyone who's been through therapy can understand it's painful, but it's worth it. The scooter. This should be a segment called Stupid Shit Chantal Says. Scooters are not just for fat people. Scooters are for people with ambient issues. People who are young, people who are old, people who have a physical disability that prevents them from having the stamina to walk, having the inability to walk long distances, have a temporary disability that require it. It's not just for fat bitches who are too lazy to walk. The ignorance is showing through Chantal. Using her audience just to listen. No, 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 no. You don't get everyone just to sit there and not talk while you yabber away. Everybody has the right to say what they want. Everyone has the right to react. You have the right to block. People have the right to react. You don't get to rule the world. She's got me heated today. She just said so many stupid, dumb things. I just can't even tolerate her arrogance and her ego and her demanding to be treated like a victim. I'm the victim. You must agree with me. You can't disagree with me because I'm a victim. No, Chantal, we can question you because you are a known liar. And lies make people angry because lies hurt people. Lies actually because I looked it up. I was like, why Why do people get so upset with lies? Like we say that, we go, oh, I hate lying. And I'm like, why? Why do we actually hate it? Other than it being a lie and a betrayal and a dishonesty, lies actually cause a physical response in human beings similar to the fight or flight response. It's because lies are betrayal. Betrayal affects your ability to survive. So scenario you're a caveman you're with Jono at the back you're hunting a mammoth Jono says oh I'm gonna go this way and he pulls a prank on you he lies or he he's just he's untrustworthy he's not trustworthy in the hunt because he's a liar or a prankster or what's the other word that she is inconsistent we need each other to be truthful so we can trust you to survive that's why lying hits people so hard we need to be able to trust. Lying is the best way to ruin a relationship. And Chantal has ruined the relationship with reactors, with her audience, past audience members, and anybody who would watch her and potentially be in her audience or a membership because they will never be able to trust her because of her past record of lying. That's the part about her we dislike the most. Her just off the cuff ability to tell a big fat fib. Do better. And chaos is not movement in life. She feels like she's doing well because she's not in her chaotic moment. So she creates the chaos, her rages and her dope smoking and her 
inserting herself in drama when there is none for her because she's got no content. Chaos is not movement. It's not going backwards. It's not going forwards. It's just, it's like what Nada does when he cooks. He just moves things around to make it look like he's doing something. When he's tweaking out, he just moves a cutting board here and wipes it down and puts it straight back down and throws the knife here and move it there. It's to make it look like something's happening that isn't actually happening. And that's what Chantelle does. That's what her rages are. She's raging because without the rages and the streams, what does she have? A sad little kitchen chair in her kitchen, two cats, a roommate that lives in his room, and nothing else. She is, as Natural Ginger said just the other week, an empty vessel. And she's trying to fill herself up. And she's failing. She needs to go to therapy. She needs to get help with her ED. She needs to get help with her addictions. She needs to understand how to treat herself, what she expects for herself in relationships. And she should not be dating anybody who's been in a traumatic relationship or really crappy relationship, like a really bad one, like she's been through, like just like the one she's been through, would not be wanting to date right now. They would be avoiding dating or a partner like the plague. So for her to step back into the dating field or even try to inflict herself on someone new is ridiculous, beyond belief, selfish, narcissistic, and clearly something that's wrong with her mental health that she needs to be getting attention from men in any shape or form that she can find it. She needs to go to therapy. I don't know how many times I can see it, say it. I want to get a shirt. Chantal needs to go to therapy and just wear it around and hopefully one day she'll get it. Sell a million of them. Send her the money for the therapy. No, I would never send her money. Never. Not in a million years. She'd just stick it in her mouth. But anyway, guys, this is Dollar Cookie. If you like what I'm saying, if you don't like what I'm saying, let me know if you agree, if you disagree. Today was a bit longer than I usually do and a lot more heated. Um, she's actually triggered a bit of anxiety in me for today. That's why I'm talking so fast and I'm so animated. Um, I'm stepping back from her for an, a couple of days, um, because she's got me very agitated and Nader, Nader's coming into this a lot as well. And he triggers me like no other. I can't deal with him. I can't hear his voice. Even his voice, his voice just makes me. <sighs> so I'll be stepping back. Um, Anybody who's watched my videos, I really appreciate it. Um, I know YouTube, I said YouTube's for views, but for me, this is just me getting energy out and me saying what I need to say. And if anybody else, if this gives anybody else any insight or any thoughts or feelings or anything that they want to like chat over with, not with necessarily with me, but with anybody because it brings something up for them or it gives them an idea or a thought that, they want to explore more, please do. Let your mind tick over. Let your mind grow. Let your mind explore. Doesn't always have to be in a purity or a positive um, subject matter. Learning about things, good or bad, is learning. It's knowledge. It's education. And I'm all about that. I'm constantly looking things up. I'm constantly seeking answers for myself because um, I want to grow. I don't want to stagnate and chaos is not something that I like or can really deal with very well. So I actually, I'm sitting here now going, I can feel my chest. I can feel my throat. I'm feeling quite amped up. So if this, um, stream, this stream, <laughs> stream, if this video feels very different to my other ones, it is because my mental, state is very different so it might be a very good example of how anxiety can hit people in different ways and affect their moods and their minds and their thoughts so this may be my worst video ever so far but I felt the need to get it out and um, I might regret it tomorrow but <laughs> oh well regrets all right see you later everyone bye